Hello everyone and welcome to my stage, to my vlog because I'm the new president of social media. Because in this vlog, in this stage, I want to talk about the education, the generations, the brainwashing and some things that people don't talk about enough. Firstly, I want to talk about the people being brainwashed since a really young age. And this brainwashing starts everywhere, in school, at home, between friends and online. Now you might be wondering, what does brainwashing actually means? Well, brainwashing means that people are not able to think with their own brain and having their own opinions about certain situations, things, communities or whatever. I'm going to ask you a question and please write me in the comments your answer to it. Did you ever come home from school or work and you didn't feel integrated? So instead of telling those people your opinion or the way you feel or what you actually think about some situation, you became like them. Thinking like them and saying what they are saying. And this is also called the herd effect or the herd mentality. Think outside of the box, look for more information and details, then talk about it. Not just say what you heard that those were saying. Search for more. And then you can say something. Say your opinion. If you are well informed and if you know what you're talking about. Because you're free. God gave us freedom. Don't be scared to say what you think if you are well informed. Don't spread fake or wrong information. Because some people might trust you. And you will teach them wrong. So if you don't know what you're talking about, zip it. Don't be afraid because some people might disagree with you. I'm going to give you an example. If 10 people are looking at a picture and they're all saying that the photo is horrible, but you are scared to say your opinion about it because you like it, so you are afraid to not be integrated in their group. Just say your opinion, see what they're saying. If they are well educated, they are gonna respect your opinion about it. And if they treat you bad, then leave the group because you're not respected. Because that's toxic and it's not gonna help you with your development and your knowledge. So just leave it. So just don't be afraid to say your opinion if you are well informed. Don't spread fake information or bad information. Please. Let's move on to the education. And I'm not talking about the education that everyone is learning at school. Because honestly, the school doesn't teach you absolutely anything at all. And right now, I know that some parents are offended by just what I said. But let me finish. Children are not learning in school manners, respect, ambition, motivation and how to be a successful person. And as a president, I will make a new subject in school and this subject is called manners. The parents should teach children how to have manners but these parents need to learn about manners too, don't they? But they didn't because nobody teach them. So apparently it's nobody's but at the same time, everybody's fault. All right, now let me tell you what I want the kids to learn in this subject. Firstly, what I just said. Do not be afraid to say your opinion if you are well informed. Then, the manners to know how to speak to a stranger. To have a formal vocabulary to an old person. To know how to dress when you're going into a formal institution. For example, to the school, yeah. I did my studies in the UK and the school uniform was terrible, was disgusting. So I want the children to learn the dress code everywhere. If you're going to school, you need to be dressed formal. If you're going to a restaurant, you need to be dressed elegant. And in everyday life, you need to be decent because honestly, when I'm walking my dog outside, I don't want to see your <laughs> alright? Or your amazing apps. I don't care. Keep this in the gym or on those really, I don't even know how to call them, apps. 
to respect others and others' opinions. Don't force them, because if they want to listen, they will listen. How to respect others' ethnicity and nationality. And I feel really sorrowful when I'm seeing someone pointing at a person with a different color, but they are not pointing. I don't support the idea of pointing at someone because it's really inappropriate, it's really rude to do it. But what I mean is that if you really want to point, point at someone, point at those who need help. For example, to those who are trying to be animals or even to the LGBT community. Let me tell you something about the LGBT community, alright? Because I don't think I need to say something about the people who are trying to be animals. I hope that you're not thinking that to try to be an animal is alright. Alright, so I trust you guys, I believe in you. Alright, LGBT. I'm not supporting something that God and the Bible doesn't. And here I'm not talking about any religion because I'm not having a religion. I just believe in God and the Bible and that's it. I just want to say something. God created this whole entire world. And everything is perfect, isn't it? The nature is perfect. The landscapes are fabulous. So how can you think that you are the wrong one when you are the most important? You are the human. Jesus died on a cross for our sins. And I know that some people from this community, probably the majority of them, maybe some tragical, traumatic, really sorrowful things happen to them and that might be the reason why they are like this. The same thing applies to the people that think that they are an animal. By what I'm saying now, I just want to give you a different perspective about something. I'm not trying to change anyone because just you can change yourself. And who wants to hear, will hear. Who wants to listen, will listen. As a human like you, I've told you my opinion about say the way I seen it, what the Bible says about say what God says about say. But yes, I don't support the community because God destroyed two cities because of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. So if you feel that what you're doing is wrong, if you feel that you need to change what's going on, if you need to talk with somebody but nobody's listening to you, nobody's helping you, even though you're looking for help, then go pray, talk with God, tell God what's going on, what's happening with you and let God help you. Alright, this was my opinion, my, let's say, advice, my constructive comment, okay? I want to add in school more subjects. I'm Romanian but I live in the UK and in the UK there are a lot of subjects such as acting, drama, photography, kitchen, like cooking, hairstyle, salon, like beauty industry, technology, fashion and so on. And in my opinion, these subjects are really important for a child, for a student, because just like this, they can find out what they want to do in the future or even right now when they are in high school. Because they can start a career at a really young age. And because I'm an actress, I really support drama in school. Because there you learn the diction, how to speak, you improve your vocabulary. So the schools need to improve the subjects more to give more opportunities and the vocabulary. Let's speak about the rubbish. Take care of your country and of your health. You need to have a clean environment. So just put that trash, that rubbish in the bin. And like this, everybody obviously will be more healthy and everything will be more clean. And also when the tourists come to your country, they will be like, wow, they're having such a beautiful country and they clean one are the same. We are all different and this is what makes us unique. So stop bullying and saying hate comments to people just because they are showing who they are. Because they are expressing themselves through clothes, through probably some of them are writers, singers and so on. I even seeing kids that are bullying other kids because they are singing, because they are doing their hobby, they are working on their career. And they got bullied. You know why? Because it's cringe. Darling, it's not cringe to work at your career, at your dream. Go get a dream. Go work at something. Because I think this is why you have this whole time to bully people. 
because you are too free. So go work on something, do something. So stop bullying people. Everyone is allowed to express themselves. Obviously, to be decent. Alright, so I'm gonna get out of my character right now. So yeah, I just wanted to make this vlog in which I'm the president because I really wanted to tell you my opinions, my perspective, a lot of law of things and as I said in this vlog for a lot of times that I'm not trying to change anyone, anybody, anyone's opinions. I'm just trying to make you see things with a different perspective. And if I have the person or more people during this video, then I'm more than happy. And obviously, please write me in the comments your opinions about everything that I said or your opinions in general, even if it's not from the context of this video, you know? So just write me in the comments your opinion about different things, just say it. I'm reading all of the comments and I'm answering to them. I also made a vlog in which I answered to my hate coming. Alright, so my vlog is finished. If you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe with bell. For real, subscribe with bell right now. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All of the links, you're gonna find them in the description of this vlog. And also to share this vlog with your friends. Alright, so I'm Vanessa, that's enough. The president. And see you next time. Bye. Subscribe with bell. Bye.